God, poor Shishi. Oh, poor Shane. Poor Gigi's gonna know exactly what's coming to her. What about that kid that tore out of here when I showed up? Shane? It's a cute kid. It'd be a shame to see him get all messed up. You wouldn't do that. His life's in your hands. I'll see you in 24 hours. right? Need to book room. I'll pay half. No way. The guy pays. That's just a sexist ritual. Fine. You can buy the condoms. You didn't buy the condoms? Marco would like to share with the rest of the class. <laughs> no, uh, sorry, it's fine. So, as long as we get the bridesmaids' bouquets. Well, no, yeah. you're supposed to tell the florist exactly what Jessica's already doing that for you right now. But he already call called me. I, I mean, I did that. Do you think there's a problem? No. No, I'm sure he just wants to make sure everyone's on the same page. Okay, no, but still, Jessica's been gone for quite a long time. Do you think we should call her? No, I don't think so. I mean, these things take time. Excuse me. Oh, I'm not 
recognize the number, maybe it's the forest. Hi, this is Kyle Lewis at the Landview Hospital Lab. Oh, hi. Yeah, I need to see you and Jared Banks as soon as possible. What? Why? Hello? Everything okay? Uh, yeah. This is the caterer. Um, he just to check out some cake filling. Is that a big a deal? Yeah! I mean, that's the whole reason I'm having a big wedding, so I can have the cake. So I guess we better get going. Thanks, Mom. Hey, honey. See you later. And we've got to pick up Bree at her play date. Yes, we do. Mm. I have to get her to try on her dress for the wedding. That wasn't the caterer, was it? I'll explain on the way. We made the right decision. For Jess, yeah. Did they look happy? Hey, you sure it's not broken? <sighs> Don't worry, he doesn't hit half as hard as you. I really wanted to come out, but if I had... You had a bone our cover. Yeah, but we might have saved your nose. Man, I hated letting Rex think Gigi was in there. Oh, me too. But this is the only way. No. Until Shane goes into remission, we have to keep the secret. Yeah, his life depends on it. How does that sister of Gigi's live with herself? Beats me. I hope you two both finished your term papers. Yeah, we were done last week. Good. So I assume you're going to the prom together? When was the last time I finished homework early? <laughs> it's a big night, huh? Yeah, it is. You know, I think I might have to take some credit. I mean, who knows if you two would have gotten together if I hadn't noticed how much chemistry you had. Uh, noticed? You practically forced me to go to the prom at gunpoint. And we're really thankful. So are you doing anything special for your anniversary? I'm hoping Langston brings me some flowers. Dare to dream, right? Oh, get out of here. Why didn't you buy the condoms? Look, relax. It's not like they're gonna sell out. On prom night? There's a ton behind the counter. You're kidding. You're embarrassed? I just need to work up to it, all right? All right, well, you better. We're not gonna end up like Star and Cole. Don't worry. I will get them. I've been waiting for this night for a long time. Nothing's gonna spoil it. Promise? Promise. Nothing's gonna spoil it, Marco? We'll see about that. Mr. Buchanan, Mr. Banks. What, uh, what do you want to see us about? You know that DNA test you had me run on baby A and baby B to see which child belonged to which mother? Uh-huh, is there a problem? Yeah, I'd say there's a problem. Your sister Jessica stole Star Manning's baby. I thought that if we tried to find out how Hope died, I thought that it would make us feel better. Yeah, but we, we knew the answer might not be genetic. But we didn't think that we had the wrong baby's hair. It feels like we're getting further and further away. Maybe not. I mean, there there is something else we can do. I know I know you didn't you, you didn't want to, but but it would it would give us an answer. You mean? We can have Hope's body exhumed. 